So you try to change profile in Truck Simulator, and as soon as you do that, the game crashes with error. Game crashed, fatal error, and application fatal error. I will be showing you how to fix this problem on Euro Truck Simulator 2 MP, which was purchased on Steam, running on Windows 10. But the solution will be exactly the same for American Truck Simulator, running on all supported Windows versions, starting from Windows 7, to Windows 8, to Windows 10, and to Windows 11. Most guides to solve this problem that you may find online usually want you to find the launch file of Euro Truck Simulator 2 and to edit the properties of the launch file to include the path to your game profile. This is a very clunky solution which does not always work. A much better solution is to find Euro Truck Simulator 2 or American Truck Simulator config file, which is not in the game executable folder in your games folder, but rather in your documents folder, and delete that. As soon as you do this, you may launch the game, you may launch the MP version of the game, and it will work just fine. However, the next time you start it, it will crash again, and you will have to delete the config file again. So to fix this, you will first have to know where the Eurotrack Simulator 2 MP stores its own configuration files. That is usually in the Documents folder of your Windows user profile in the directory called ETS2MP. Here are the config files for the MP version of the game. Now you must find the disk path to your user profile. The easiest way to do this in Windows 10 and Windows 11 is to remove everything from the address bar of your file explorer and enter percent user profile percent or percent app data percent and hit enter. It will usually lead you to disk C users and then the name of your user profile. In this case, it's only one word, which consists of two letters, DM, and there is no space between them. But in your particular case, especially if you use your real name as your Windows profile name, you may have a space between your first name and last name. So here will be a space. Anyway, having learned all that, you have to go to Steam, in this case, and change the launch options for Euro Truck Simulator 2. In this case, there are no launch options, but you may have minus 64 bit. If you do, keep that and enter one space. And then the launch option I'm going to tell you about. If you have nothing, just enter minus home dear, then space, and then enter the path to the location of the ETS2 MP profile. In this case, it is C colon slash users slash DM slash documents slash ETS2 MP. That's the location of the profile folder for this game for this user. As I said, if you have spaces in your user folder name, for example, it is two words instead of one, then it's safer to include this path into parentheses so the system will know that. After that, save the launch options, launch the game, and the MP version will work just fine without crashing. The only caveat is, if you still want to play the original game, you will have to remove these launch options every time you want to do that. And every time you want to play the MP version, you will have to enter them back. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.